Hey, it's henshin time! Was that too cheesy, you guys? <laughs> I absolutely had to do that. When the opportunity presents itself. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Ochi. I'm the gal that keeps you guys up to date on new Sailor Moon merchandise drops here in the United States. This video is all about the super popular Sailor Moon ColourPop makeup collection. ColourPop is a cruelty-free, USA-based makeup company that started in 2014. And Sailor Moon fans were absolutely shocked on February 18th, 2020, when ColourPop announced they were going to be doing a collaboration with Sailor Moon. I remember vividly that I first saw it on Instagram, and then later ColourPop, of course, went to Facebook and Twitter and announced it, and I spread the news all over my social media as well. ColourPop stated that they would drop the entire collection on their website on February 20th. Fans were absolutely freaking out in a good way. This was huge for the Sailor Moon franchise in North America. As we know, Sailor Moon makeup has been made for adults for several years in Japan. But here, this marked the very first time Sailor Moon makeup for adults was going to be made. The collection included a Pretty Guardian shadow palette at $20, two kinds of blushes at $12 each, two kinds of glitter gels, at $9 each, an ultra blotted lip, which is like a matte lipstick with two colors at $8 each, and a ultra glossy lip with two colors at $8 each. They also included lip bundles, which was one blotted and one glossy lip at $15 each, and the entire collection was $89 on the ColourPop website. It sold out within minutes. So many people were upset and went straight to social media to express their frustrations at the ColourPop checkout system that failed a lot of us, including me. ColourPop announced shortly after that they would be doing a restock on the entire collection. They also admitted on their Instagram stories that they had no intentions of the Sailor Moon collection selling out this quickly. They also apologized that they couldn't ship to some countries because of licensing restrictions. Fast forward to the month of March. On March 13th, ColourPop announced that they would be dropping the collection at Ulta stores on March 15th. Yeah, you see that's not a very long amount of time in between. They announced it on the 13th and it was supposed to drop on the 15th, just a couple of days after. And this was some great news. Everybody was pretty excited for that. That next morning, I had a friend on Instagram message me saying that they called their local Ulta to inquire about the Sailor Moon collection that was dropping that weekend. And their Ulta said that they already had the collection in. They said that you could just come in and come buy the products that you want. They ended up doing that and he got what he wanted and he messaged me and he was like, Ochi, you probably need to call your Ulta or check out your Ulta. They may already have the collection and may sell it to you early. I went to my closest Ulta and to my shock, the Sailor Moon collaboration was up front and center at my Ulta. Like it was right as you walked in, right in your face. And I, my jaw just dropped. I was like, and they only had the lip bundles and the eyeshadow palettes. Everything else was sold out. So I asked an Ulta representative and, and she was like, yeah, we, we got it in a couple days ago and we put it out early and it's been selling like crazy. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I would have known because it's supposed to drop on Sunday, March 15th. So I went ahead and grabbed what I needed there and then I decided to go on a journey to find the rest of the collection. So I went to um, a couple other Ultas. I have four Ultas total in my area and I had to end up going to all four to complete my collection. Two out of the four of my Ultas had the Sailor Moon collection display out early and then uh, the other two did not have it out and I had to ask to see if they had it. 
One of my Ultas was like, sorry, we can't sell it to you early. And then the other Ulta that didn't have it out was like, no, I'll go get it for you in the back. So I ended up completing my collection, thankfully, and got everything that I needed. But it took four Ultas for me to do that. I was so excited to finally get it because I totally missed out on the ColourPop website drop because it, the checkout system failed for me. So I was really excited that I didn't have to wait for the restock and I got it at my local Ultas. I just really love walking into a store and seeing Sailor Moon right there in front of your face. The display was amazing. I mean, I was sitting there geeking out all over, you know, taking pictures of it, taking videos of it. I just had a great time. I wasn't even that upset that they didn't have all of the collection since I missed it because they put it out early and they sold some pieces. I was just so excited to see Sailor Moon makeup at my Ulta and see that display. I just totally was like, I'm not even going to be mad that I can't get the whole collection at this Ulta because this is just amazing to see as a Sailor Moon fan. So yeah, that weekend was quite the wild ride. Let's go ahead and get started to see how I created that look and talk all about these products. I'm excited to start, but I'm also kind of nervous because my normal makeup routine is just foundation. I'll do my brows. I'll apply some eyeliner. I'll do some lipstick. I may use some blush, but I hardly ever use eyeshadow. So eyeshadow is kind of a strange area for me. Let's attempt to create a look with the Pretty Guardian shadow palette. And looking at the box, we have Usagi right on the front and it's pretty shimmery. It has iridescent colors outlined throughout the entire box. And on the back, we're going to see the names of the colors that are inside this palette. I've got no issues with the box. I think it's really cute. I love the shimmery rainbow outline that they did throughout the box that really kind of makes it pop out to you. Let's go ahead and open it. I already totally knew what to expect with this palette because everybody has already posted photos of this and of course you know it was on Colourpop's website so I'm not surprised at all by the image but isn't it cute? It's a lenticular image so it's going to move when you move it. And this is from season one, episode 20. I don't know if you guys remember that episode, but Usagi, Ami, and Rei were all going to go to a beach resort to train, according to Luna. But of course, you know, Usagi had other plans. She wanted to lay out on the beach, have hot men gawk at her. And then this image right here is when she is imagining seeing Tuxedo Mask on a water glider thing. I don't know what those things are called, but it looked like he was having a good time. And while I think this image is really cute, since it's a lenticular image, I think what would have been even more awesome is if they did this as a transformation scene, you know, and kind of showing the transformation parts. But that's not too big of a deal. I just thought that it would be cool because, you know, Sailor Moon is so magical girl. I kind of wish this was a magical girl image. But let's go ahead and open up the palette. So right as you open it, we're going to have this little plastic insert that keeps the uh, pigments from falling out. It doesn't have a mirror on the palette, unfortunately, but it does have the crescent moon pattern all throughout the top. Folks, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. You doing that supports this channel and helps it grow. So let's see if we can get this video to 200 likes by liking this. So let's just go ahead and remove the little film. So I kind of want to just go with the wild look since I rarely do eyeshadow. Why play safe? Let's just go ahead and go all out. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the color love. So it's just kind of a plain name. I don't really have any issues with the name. Dipping it into the pigment, it does get a lot on the brush. So, ooh. First dip, you guys, it transfers very well. It's highly pigmented from what I can tell. I haven't had to re-dip yet, and I'm just kind of bringing it out. This is not a tutorial, by the way, guys. We're just messing around. We're just trying out these products. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and bring it down on my lower lid area as well. Ooh, we popping! This love color is bringing it out. You know how some makeup people will just do one eye first, complete the entire look of one eye, and then go do it on the other eye? That's not how I roll. I can't do it that way. Oh crap, I went all the way up here. I got some powder in my eye. See, this is why I don't do eyeshadow. Oh, I feel it. Oh, it's in there. Oh, don't you inflame my eyes, please. I don't know if this video is even going well. Oh, I'm making sure I'm dipping in the right color. Okay, and I know with shadow, the key is to blend, blend, blend. So I'm just going to kind of taper it out a little bit. Get ready to blend in with the next color that we're going to apply. I feel like one eye looks better than the other already. <laughs> I never have only got one color on. I'm trying to think of another color that we can blend in with that. I'm kind of feeling that we should go in with Miracle Romance. And I do love that name. That's actually a line in the original theme song, Moonlight Densetsu. So that name makes sense. Love that name. Miracle 
romance kind of looks like a grape color blended into love and i think i want to take miracle romance and cover most of the middle part of the lid girl look at all your wrinkles oh, getting old sucks you guys find yourself a fountain of youth to jump in okay i guess for like the third color on the lid i'm gonna do twilight flash which kind of looks like a pale orange color. So Twilight Flash is actually named after an attack called Moon Twilight Flash. And that's an attack that Sailor Moon uses when she gets a tiara upgrade in the manga and also in Sailor Moon Crystal. However, it's not used in the 90s, so it's an interesting choice that it's in this palette because this palette does seem to be based on all 90s artwork as far as the packaging goes. You know what? I think that blends in kind of cool. I like how these pigments are buildable. So what if you don't feel like you got enough coverage on that first pat 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 that you're doing, you can just go in and build up those layers and then you get some really good striking color. I'm not sure if I'll do this every day. It is a lot of work. I think I want to go in with a little bit of Tuxedo Rose in the corner of my eyes here to kind of make that love color pop a little more. And I'm fine with that Tuxedo Rose name. Tuxedo Mask is a very important part of season one and he's Sailor Moon's crush. Okay, so I feel like I got all my eyelids all covered. I think we need to do like some shimmer on the underneath the brow area and there's a lot of cool colors that we can use a lot of shimmery colors a lot of highlight colors that we can choose and let's go ahead and talk about some of these shimmery colors so we have silver crystal here at the top that's kind of like a shimmery rose gold color and i feel like that is the perfect name for that one and the silver crystal or Ginzui Show is the most powerful object in the Sailor Moon series. So we do have this color down here called Full Moon and it is a gold shimmery highlight color and I absolutely loathe that name. Whenever I think of Full Moon, Sailor Moon is not the first thing that comes to mind. I think of werewolves and butts. And then right next to it we have Silver Millennium which absolutely makes sense. That is the time period in Sailor Moon's past when she lived on the moon. And then the next one we have over here is Mare Serenitatis. And Mare Serenitatis is actually a dark plane on our actual moon. It's actually an area on our moon that's also known as the Sea of Serenity. And that is the location across all the versions of Sailor Moon where the moon castle is. So that name is fine. It's just a really weird word to say and you don't hear it a lot in Sailor Moon. And right next to it, we do have a shimmery purple called Luna, which that is the name of Sailor Moon's cat. And it's kind of a cute color. And I like that they named a color after Luna. We absolutely needed a color named after Luna, especially since she's on the blush box. I think I want to use Shining Moon, which that's another interesting choice that they decided to call that because Shining Moon Tokyo is actually the name of the restaurant slash show that started in Tokyo last year. So that name has nothing to do with the anime or manga or even crystal. And that's what I'm going to go ahead and go and put right underneath the end of my brow line is Shining Moon. Kind of help blend in with that Twilight Flash color. Okay, so Shining Moon doesn't really show up that well, I don't think. Can you guys see it on camera? Maybe I should have picked Silver Crystal or Silver Millennium. Oh, that would have been a beautiful color. Silver Millennium would have been. Let's go ahead and try it. Okay. You know what? I feel like I'm done with the shadow. I don't want to do anything else. I feel like it looks good right now. So I don't want to ruin it by adding anything else and making it look like just overdone. So I think I'm going to go ahead and stop that. I feel like I gave this palette a really good test run and the colors are all really pigmented. So I didn't really have any trouble with any of them. The Silver Millennium color is a bit on the softer side, so it doesn't really transfer to the brush very well, but I feel like I got enough on my lids. So let's go ahead and try out some blushes. They did make two different different kinds of blushes for this collection. So let's go ahead and open them up. So both the blush have the same lenticular image on it. And this is of course from episode one when Usagi encounters Luna for the first time. The first blush we're gonna take a look at is called Cat's Eye, which I do not know why they called it Cat's Eye, because as you can see, it is kind of like a pearly pink color. And in the anime, Luna's eyes are not this color, they're red. And this color is more of the color that's inside Luna's ears. So should they have called this cat's ears? Kind of a silly name in my opinion, but the blush is adorable. They actually imprinted a picture of Luna in the blush and the blush come with a mirror. So that's really helpful. And the other blush is called From the Moon. That's a better name, but it's a little kind of 
boring in my opinion. And this blush is a more of a matte pink color since the other one was a little bit more shimmery with some highlight in it. But this one is completely matte it looks like and it also has the same Luna imprint on the blush with the mirror. So I think for this look I want to go ahead and go with the cat's eye color blush which is the one that has a little bit of shimmery highlight in it. I'm so sad to dig into Luna's face here because after a couple of times of using the blushes of course Luna's image on the blush is going to fade away. So let's just oh it got all over the mirror. Oh Ooh, shoot that is highly pigmented and I thought I tapped that brush. Ooh, this is a little bit too much you guys. So let's just kind of ooh ooh no 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 I'm gonna be looking like a clown over here. Crap I have made a mistake. I'm gonna have to go to my bigger mirror here because oh no this is not the look I go for. So oops we're gonna have to do the same on the other side. You know what? I wonder if I can counteract all this blush with a little bit of powder because I, this is not cool, you guys. Not cool. So let's just kind of tone that blush down just a tad if we can. Ooh, girl. Be careful with that blush, you guys. That can destroy someone's life. Okay, so I am going a lot lighter on the other cheek. Learn my lesson. Put the film back on that. That's dangerous. Okay, so it's time for my favorite part. I love lipsticks. So I am so excited to use these lipsticks. So I actually got the lip bundles, which means there is a blotted lip and a glossy lip inside each of these, which completes the collection of the lips. And the names of these are Moonlight and Daylight, which are they referencing the Deke dub with these names? These names are all over the place. So let's just go ahead and open Moonlight and let's just use that. The packaging is so cute. The same iridescent colors are used throughout this packaging for the lettering on the bottle. So I love it. We're going to have to go with the blotted lip first. And we, and I may decide to apply some gloss over that. We'll, we'll see. I may not know everything about makeup, but I do know to get precision around the lips, you use a lip brush. And the blotted lip that I'm going to be using is called Bunhead. That's her nickname that Mamoru calls her. It kind of looks like it would come out sheer, but I know it's a matte. It says it's a matte and I've seen other people use it. So let's go ahead and apply some bun head to the majority of the lip and then I can line it a little bit better with my lip brush. That's a cute color. I hope I picked the right color. They do claim this is a medium coverage matte lipstick. So that does make sense that it's a little bit more sheer than I'm used to. So it kind of takes applying this in layers to really get the solid coverage that you're looking for, in my opinion. This dries super fast. It doesn't really give you a lot of time to really work with it and apply double the coating so you get all the coverage that you're looking for since it's a medium one and it starts to look really blotchy. Which if I would have known that going into it, I probably would have applied it a lot faster than I did. So that's probably my fault. It's probably fine if you know what you're getting into. This bun head color is a little bit too pink for my taste. I'm normally like, I like neutral colors. I like reds. I like pale pinks, but this is kind of like a Barbie pink and this is a little too much. Maybe it will look better if we apply some gloss. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply the one that this Moonlight set was paired with, which is the Sailor Moon color. And what a fitting name. They named one product Sailor Moon out of all this. Let's hope this d tones down this lip color. And this has a smell. I can really smell it. So I, I don't mind the very Barbie pink when it's paired with this kind of more orangey gloss. I feel like it toned down that pink color a little bit. I hope it shows on video that way. Okay, we've used most of the products. The only thing we haven't used yet is the body glitter, but I want to get my eyeliner and mascara on before I do that. So I'll be right back. The look is coming all together. It's kind of an out there look, like it's really in your face. I mean, we've got some really bright pinks like popping out at you, like my lip, my blush. Oh my gosh, the blush. I'm kind of regretful of the blush. I mean, I really didn't have any good choices. Um, I felt like from the moon, the blush was a lot more pink. So this is what we uh, ended up with. I kind of want to do a little bit more highlights. So I'm going to get the shadow palette back out and let's try some of these shadows as like a highlight, like on the upper cheek. I was thinking of trying Full Moon in that name that I don't like. Werewolves and Butts, that's all I think about with Full Moon. And I just kind of want to maybe apply it right here. Maybe even get a little bit on the nose. Why not? So now we just have one last product to try out, you guys, which were the most popular products out of this whole line were the freaking glitters. They're called Glitterly Obsessed and they 
are body glitters and they came in two colors. Oh my gosh, reading the names, I love them. The names are perfect. So we have Moon Prism Power, which that's what Usagi shouts out to transform into Sailor Moon in the first season. So this name is very fitting. And then we have Moonlight Legend. And Moonlight Legend is the English translation of Moonlight Densetsu, which is the name of the original theme song. So these names are probably the best names out of this whole entire collection. They fit perfectly. And I'm opening Moonlight Legend right now. And this is supposed to be a soft pink with multi-dimensional glitter in it. And it looks like as you're opening up the little capsule here, which the capsule has the transformation brooch right on it. It's super shimmery and pretty. And it says glitterly obsessed around the transformation brooch. And it does have a little cover on the top of the glitter to help keep it in. And holy moly, how are we going to use this? It does say on the website that you are to apply with fingers to hair and body. Hair? That's an interesting thing. Should we try to put it in my hair? Is it going to wash out okay? I'm also going to go ahead and open Moon Prism Power, which this one is a soft lilac with moon shape. Oh, the little tabby thing is in on the stuck on the top lid. Oopsies. We got a smell with these. This is supposed to have some moons in the glitter. Oh, I am nervous for these, you guys. But ooh, the, the little moons are cute. Oh my gosh, I accidentally touched it and it's already all over my fingers. I don't know which one to use. I think we should just go ahead and give them both a try. Let's look at my look here. What do we want to do? Do we want to like just kind of put some glitter in my hair up here? Would that be okay? Oh, you know what? It said apply with fingers. Better not do it a brush. It's just I don't want to get glitter all over my fingers. You know what I mean? We're just going to try the hair, you guys. It says you can use it in your hair. Oh my god. It actually looks cute. But wow, it actually doesn't feel greasy at all you know just kind of do that throughout your hair kind of give yourself a sparkly look oh my gosh i'm glad that came out okay i was really nervous i was about to be like oh crap this is gonna be terrible i'm gonna have to take a shower right afterwards Let's give ourselves a magical girl look I ain't mad. This is adorable. That was Moon Prism Power all throughout my hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and double dip into Moonlight Legend and get some pinks up in here. Why not? I was really stressing on what the heck I was going to use this glitter for because it's not supposed to be for your eyes because that could definitely hurt your eyes if you get it in your eye. So I am glad that this hair part really worked out because I was kind of hesitant to put it in my hair when I was kind of researching these products and how to use them and I was like hair how would that look because I was thinking that the gel would be kind of greasy and it wouldn't really look good in your hair but I think it looks kind of cute what do you guys think I do need to go wash this off though like this is what it does to your fingers okay be right back so here's the final look what do you guys think I know it's a little bit more wild than what you guys are normally used to seeing me on video with I like a more neutral look normally do I think it's worth it yeah, you know what? All of these products that I use, even if they're not colors that I really use, are highly pigmented and the quality is really good. I felt like I didn't have to reapply a lot of the items. One swoop of the brush and bam, it was on there. So they are highly pigmented and I think if these are the colors that you guys like, it is definitely worth it. They're just not personally colors I would use on a normal basis but then again I did choose some wild colors for this video so that may have been on me I could have chose to go with a more neutral look but I decided to go wild for this video hey do me a favor double check real quick to make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel I know that you may come back every time I post a new video and watch my videos but by subscribing to this channel you actually are supporting my channel so please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel as the colors stand with this collection of the blush those are probably the products I'm not gonna use again I think in the future I would like to see them do more neutral colors of blush or maybe even some bronzers I do like to kind of chisel out this area with a little bit of bronzer so I would be down for a Sailor Moon bronzer or a more toned down pink blush. I was really shocked about the glitter. Now I see why these sold out so quickly out of everything out of the collection and why these were so popular. This is so fun! I feel like it came out so good in the hair. I just feel like it would be a very cute fun thing to apply to your hair on a night out. Like I was just so surprised that I ended up really liking these because I was so concerned on how the heck I would use them. So that's one of the items that I was kind of shocked by. I absolutely love the prices 
for this entire collab because it was right in the middle. We've got drugstore quality priced makeup, which is the cheaper makeup. And then we have the professional expensive makeup on this end. And right in the middle was ColourPop. Like I feel like these prices were affordable for almost everybody. And that's great because especially since we want Sailor Moon to succeed here in the United States, this was affordable for so many people. So the prices were fantastic. Good job, ColourPop. I love that the artwork on the packaging and on the actual products themselves was all consistent with season one of Sailor Moon. And the reason why I even mention that is because the names of some of the colors of these products is not consistent. They use names from the restaurant show in Tokyo. They use names from the anime and the manga. They use names from the D dub and some names were just plain boring so I feel like somebody who was in charge of naming these products went straight to Google googled Sailor Moon and started picking out random names that they thought would fit these products so that's why I mention the consistency with the packaging because that was great it was all season one related so they did great on that but the names were absolutely all over the place and not consistent to what the packaging was because the packaging all was 90s anime Sailor Moon color Pop has announced that they will be restocking the Sailor Moon collection on their website. We don't know when yet, so if you're interested in that restock, make sure you're following me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter because I will post right when they announce that restock and when to expect it. And I don't only do that for ColourPop, I do that for all USA merchandise drops for Sailor Moon. So if you're interested in Sailor Moon merchandise at all, I would highly suggest you check me out on those accounts to stay up to date. Thanks for taking the time to join me on this Sailor Moon ColourPop journey. I hope this opens up the doors to other makeup brands to possibly think about collabing with Sailor Moon in the future because us Moonies are gonna make sure it sells out. We destroyed ColourPop at this launch. So if any other makeup companies are out there listening or watching, they they would be wise to consider a collaboration with Sailor Moon. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel and join me in the next video. See ya!